Hey, welcome back to Vox Terra. Today's show, I want to talk about a 1980s punk rock classic, or what should have been a 1980s punk rock classic. Tie it back. Tie it back to the struggle for the long-term survival of our species. And you can tell me. You can say, Vox Terra, I think you're stretching it. I think you really just want a lightweight, fun video where you can do some 80s punk rock nostalgia, Gen X nostalgia, and that's really why you made this video. I don't know. You let me know, because that's the beauty of art. The artist doesn't always know why they're making something, and then we look at it, and we all interpret it. So Stukas over Bedrock. First of all, think about that name, Stukas over Bedrock. Stukas, a German warplane used in World War II by the Nazis, I believe, Bedrock, Bedrock, the fictitious town where the Flintstone family lived in the prehistoric era, cohabitating, a cartoon, by the way, co cohabitating with dinosaurs. Fred had a pet dinosaur dog named Dino. Do you know the dinosaur? And then this, this connotes surrealistically images of Stukas bombing that prehistoric town, that fictional prehistoric town filled with cartoon characters. And that, to me, the way I interpret that, is a statement about the absurdity of war, about the fact that whatever side you're on in that war feels justified. And when they're doing their bombings, there's innocent people getting killed underneath those bombs. Do they mean it that deeply? I don't know. Second, the song I want to focus in on is Stuka's song, Life Like Yogi Bear. Life Like Yogi Bear. Now, I'm just going to paraphrase the lyrics. I don't have them in front of me because I'm trying to keep this one light. So Yogi Bear, who's Yogi Bear? Yogi Bear was a, a cartoon character and had a son named Boo Boo. Hey, Boo Boo Bear. Yogi Bear lived in Jellystone Park. There was a park ranger. Then there was occasional cappers and visitors and Yogi and his son Boo Boo would steal things from the visitors. They wanted the easy life. So the lyrics are, I, you gotta imagine this in a punk rock cadence. I just wanna live like Yogi Bear. Dress real rad and spike my hair. Mom says I'm a bum, but I don't care. Just want to live like Yogi Bear. And then more tellingly, go to school, go to work. Do what I'm told and look like a jerk. It's the way of the world, they say. I just want to watch cartoons all day. Now, I take that. I take that as a repudiation of our materialistic consumerist culture. That's how I interpret this. Why? Because you think about everybody being so busy, that used to be called the rat race. Well, this to me is a, a repudiation of the rat race. And, and if you're old enough, you're a Gen Xer or you're a baby boomer, and you can remember back, you know, decades ago, you'll, you'll, you, you can remember criticisms of the rat race and people, all the stress we're putting ourselves under for what purpose? You should be able to remember, you know, all the warnings, you know, coming from people who cared about the environment. Hey, we're making too much pollution, too much disposable stuff. And yet here we are decades later, still employing people, making too much pollution, too much disposable stuff. And now there's even more plastics, even more disposable plastics than there were decades ago when those warnings were first being sounded. Similarly, warnings about, you know, the excessive burning of fossil fuels, it's going to heat the planet. Well, here we are decades later, a hotter planet and all that is coming along with that visiting about in this rat race, to what end? So hey, that's how I interpret that Stukas over Bedrock, Life Like Yogi Bear, or repudiation of the rat race that is just burning down our planet, keeping us busy in, in, a, in nothing but just, you know, keeping us busy in largely, largely just short-term mundane consumerism. That's where it channels our lives. And the continuation of the industrial military complex and warfare to keep this regime in place. So hey, if you are from Stukas Over Bedrock or you like the term the, to the band, let me know. What do you think of this interpretation? Have I got it? Have I not got it? And even if you don't know about it, you're no fan of punk rock, fine. Just let me know what you think. Did I, did I do a good tie-in or what? Hey, and until next time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. You've clicked that notification bell. You're liking, you're commenting. And until next time, as always, peace be with you.